What up? What up, what up, what up? What's good, Slump? It's good morning for me. I'm still tired. I'm still sleepy, bro. But we on that. What's good, Keys? I ain't gonna cap. I did no brushing, no combing yesterday. I straight video gamed and slept. That was it. Let's get it popping. So, this is what we on today, man. Regal 9 versus Regal 7. All right. What's good? That's right, KK. That's what this is about. Wake y'all ass up. If y'all ain't up, because I'm half woke, we on that. We about, to, we about to get our work on. Right? A lot of people didn't brush yesterday. I guess it was just in the air. Appreciate that, Willie. It be wild on the IG sometime, bro. Appreciate that. Regal 9 versus Regal 7. Um, I'm going to give y'all a quick... Uh, a quick, like, pro and con of each... Uh, and why I like each and why I use whichever one and then we're gonna use one all right so we're gonna we're gonna oil the scalp I'm gonna lift up the hair with the big side of this comb and then after I oil my scalp I'm gonna lay it back down with the tool structure then we're doing a hard and medium session I got you. We're doing a hard and medium session, followed by plastic bag. Then I'm going to rag up with the Ocean Views Butter Pecan. Ocean Views Butter Pecan Silky. All right. All right, so I'm going to do it like this. Regal 9, uh, Regal 7 is thicker, stronger. Smell stronger and works faster, almost too fast. All right, Regal 9 lighter, um, smells different, extremely different, uh, better, still grows, but it's more of a gradual growth. All right, meaning like over time, it consistently grows over time, lighter, thinner, smells better. And then ingredients wise, um, the seven is primary ingredient is a uh, castor, all right? And the nine primary ingredient is pumpkin seed oil, all right? This has castor, but the primary ingredient is pumpkin. Primary ingredient is castor, all right? Along with other oils, it's not a review. It's just I'm about to show you why I'm about to use whichever one I'm about to use, all right? Fellas, this, both of these work on beards, too. All right. Don't feel left out. This one's a, a DHT blocker, I think. Is that this one? Yep, DHT blocker on this one. All right, so both Omega-369. All right, so as you can see, <laughs> the 9 is my favorite. It's good for washing styles if you're putting oil in your shampoo. Um, I do hot oil treatments with both. But I prefer Regal 7 for hot oils. But right now with the quarantine, honest to God, unless you're using it for beard, I will stay away from Regal 7 because it really, really grows your hair quick. It will make you over wolf if you don't know what you're doing. So today I'm using Regal 9, of course. All right, Regal 9 today. If you're struggling with a thin crown, I suggest this boy... Drops a few drops in your crown. This shit will have your shit sprouted out looking crazy. Let's get it. Fiji water on deck. Fiji on deck. Already had a cup of green tea this morning. You feel me? And a Gatorade. All right. So, this is a tool structure comb. And this is a bamboo comb my boy Burr gave me. It's a bamboo comb. So I'm using a wide end.
progress up top on them forks, you dig? Do y'all feel me? Alright. So, when I oil my scalp, sometimes I comb against the grain to lift it up when I'm heavy wolfing. I'm not heavy wolfing. I think I'm just light wolfing for right now. So, I'm going to lift the hair up going with the grain with the big end because I don't want to disturb the pattern too bad where I have to do a lot of work to lay it back down. So the big end to lift the hair up. We're not going to rush. We're going to take our time and get it lifted pretty good because you want to get the oil directly on the scalp. And that's another thing. <clears throat> Regal 9 is good on the scalp and on top of the hair. What's good, Black Bean? But Regal 7, in my opinion, should be a scalp oil. Like, directly to the scalp only. Because it's so thick. It, it don't take a lot. And it's rich. G perks, not at all. Um, the goal is not to have to add anything every day. I think you got the wrong products. If you add an oil and product every day, unless you live in an active lifestyle to where you sweating it, sweating it out, and or you washing every every day or co-washing, um, or if you use an oil, if you use a product every day, your hair probably isn't healthy and it's not retaining the product like it should or that specific product or products you're using is not good for your hair not good for your specific texture no nah, fam listen y'all know i love y'all but the nine smells the best what's good Specky speedy the nine smells the best we're not gonna cap around here um, the seven, the tea tree is what a lot of y'all can't get over. The tea tree smell in the Regal 7. Um, if you know what tea tree smells like, that's what it smells, that's what Regal 7 smells like. Regal 9 has a lavish scent. If you guys have ever had a, a lavish bar by Fluff, bro, that's what it smells like. What's good, 28 viewers? I cut my hair on and off a lot. But I don't line it up, so it's kind of like cheating a little bit. Tool structure, Willie. Tool structure. What's good, JP, man? I heard a lot of other people didn't didn't um, get no brush session in yesterday. Listen, y'all. If y'all, if if it's nothing wrong with y'all, and y'all feel like y'all can't, y'all don't feel like brushing that day. Do a comb only. Like you can go, you can go days with just comb sessions. That way you can just sit on the couch and just comb or something. You know what I'm saying? And throw your drag back on or plastic bag it back down. <laughs> Big chop. That's your first Monet. That's your first haircut. Big Chop, the first haircut. If so, wait at least six weeks until you get your next haircut. At least six weeks. And don't get no low ball cut. Get a thick cut like a number two. And it's going to look kind of crazy. Because you're training. Because you, you're training your hair. But stick with it because you want to train your hair at at thick lengths when you when you first start your waves and you cut it low after that first that second haircut you have you setting yourself back all right so we lifted necessary no useful yes bro all right so i lifted the hair up good morning dj Oh, uh, the link I left the only link so y'all won't get confused you welcome on the, the only link that's down below is my fluffy puffs so that y'all can shop the shop all right no other links below so down in the description 
her link for the store. Everything is in stock except for that slime box y'all slept on. Um, and I think some mini, mini regals might be sold out. I'm not sure. Go check it out. I think it's spend 20, get some. It's a sale over there. Flat out. Go over there. It's a sale. All right. So, when I oil my scalp, KK, that's good. You you good that you can that you can stay at a two and a half. Uh, I've alternated twos and two and a halves, two two and a half, two two and a half. Those boys take lots and lots and lots of maintenance if you're not used to it. So when oiling the scalp, y'all know me. I'm gonna start in the crown. I basically follow the rings in my crown. All right. And then every so often, my bad, you got to stick the applicator to the scalp. So me, I like for my crown to grow, stay thick. So take the applicator directly to the scalp. All right, and then the top is thicker, so you might have to fuck it up a little bit to get to the scalp. Like, you know, go against the grain in the hair. Now the sides are usually the thinnest. You see this lighter part through the hair? That's the part I usually oil because that's a slow growing area. And it gets thin quick. A little awkward because I got a lean because this bottle's so low. Same thing. My left side grows thick, but around here it gets a little thin on cuts. So that's where you look for the thinner areas to go at mostly. The thicker areas are usually closer to the crown or the top. So it's okay to get some oil on top because usually if your scalp needs oil, the rest of your hair does too. So to make sure you don't use too much after you get, get you some good spots placed around your head, you don't want to use too much. So a little at a time, all right? So, I'm using a tool structure right now. Um, some days, I warm, I warm up my oil, like in hot water or microwave or something. I warm it up, then oil my scalp. But that's usually when um, I got a fresh cut or my hair is low. So, this is the time where you just, you take your time and oil And what state you from? Michigan. The thumb. The glove. <laughs> So this is the time where you just comb and take your time and work the oil through. You work the oil through until it's absorbed. The goal is to, ouch, the goal is to absorb Comb the oil through the pattern. Make sure you're feeling like you have enough oil. Because when you get the comb, and it's going to move the oil through anyway. I have calmed down on using growth oils altogether since I've been back. I haven't been using them like I usually do. <clears throat> And that's why I bought the olive oil spray oil the other day because I don't know when I'll have a cut next and I don't want to push my hair. Um, I don't want to push my growth too far and too fast. But I knew since I didn't brush yesterday, I unragged this morning. God damn. I, I unragged this morning 
and I felt my hair needed something. So, what days do you wash in style? G Perks, usually. G Perks, usually I wash in style or I wash twice a week, which usually is Sunday, Wednesday. But since I've been back brushing, I'm limiting myself to one wash a week. Just till I feel like my hair texture has bounced back the way I want it. And so I'm washing. I'm washing. What's good, 39 viewers? I'm washing now every uh, Monday or Tuesday. So I'll probably be able to make it to Tuesday. Tuesday is the day that I washed last week. So hopefully I can make it to Tuesday. Anytime you pick up a comb, whether it's the comb your oil through or whatever, make sure you torture your forks. What's good, 42 viewers? Your hair got so thick and healthy looking. Yeah, man, see, when I went, it's probably been like two weeks maybe since I've been back brushing and working on my hair health. To, I think it's gonna take me at least another two weeks to really get to where I wanna be. Um, because I know my hair health is not where it was because it gets dry quick. And that's not, that's definitely not normal for me. Uh, Mark, the comb only hurts when you scrape it with one of these. Like if you don't keep it, if you don't take your time and keep the comb flat, if you don't keep the comb flat, Say, for instance, I try to comb it like that, it's going to clip the scalp. But if you keep the comb flat and take your time, it does not hurt. You just can't clip it. I clip it sometimes. I got you. Uh, I, I aim to brush every day, yes. But we all human and sometimes we miss a day. But absolutely, I brush every day. Maserati Merrick. I don't have one favorite brush. Because I'm just such a brush whore. <laughs> such a brush whore. But if, if I do, it's got to be a soft. Yeah, KK, when I cut down and get that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, y'all got the questions today. OVO mirror. When I got the Regal 7 and smell, almost made me throw. All right, so o, OVO mirror. Let me holler at you. It was a batch that got out there that was a little stronger than normal. You probably got that boy. But at the same time, like I said, a lot of people can't handle tea tree scent. So, if you don't like tea tree, don't set yourself up. Just cop the Regal 9. All right? But the, the tea tree is such a good oil for your scalp, you know. All right, so I'm going to get back to y'all questions in a second. I saw some questions about getting healthy, thick hair. And I saw some questions about definition. I'm going to answer the definition question first. Definition is going to come from thick hair first. There's no way around it. You're going to need thick hair and you're going to need to learn how to maintain thick hair. <clears throat> Second definition come from lots of hard brushing on that thick hair, lots of combing, on that thick hair and learning how to use your medium brushes okay um getting healthy and thick hair getting healthy and thick hair health hair health starts on your wash day and i'm going i'm going to show y'all i'm a witness because i just literally but i'm using what i'm telling y'all right now 
because two weeks ago my hair was gray it was hard it was dry it was brittle it was shedding because i was sick so it was unhealthy so what i'm about to tell y'all is exactly what i'm doing and did to bounce back from that you start with a good wash if you don't got wave slime or way or smoke you need to uh the brown brush like, hey, you like that you like that you like that milano <laughs> uh <laughs> wash day healthy hair starts on wash day and after i finish answering this question we're gonna get into the brush session so after on wash day if you don't have wave slime or smoke it's best that you use shampoo and conditioner that's the off back that's the first thing you should do when you said okay i need to get my hair healthier wash and condition all right after that when your hair dries you want to focus on you want to focus on a good oil and a good butter for your hair all right if you're the type of person that got to use moisturizer then so be it i know a lot of waivers who who use a lot of moisturizer but as you can see i don't because i got my wash days on lock so, hit the like button. 42 viewers, 18 likes. I'm, I'm, going, I'm just going to sip my water until y'all get them likes up. I'll just got my wave slime kit last week. M Monet, you feel me? Are they sleeping on that wave slime and that smoke? Are they? You feel me? They sleeping. All right, I'll bother y'all about some more likes in a minute. 25, okay. Uh, Mark, I wash with a detangler brush. What's good, Eric? Uh, What you talking about? That uh, lavish, what was it? Uh, uh, Lux clay or something? You talking about, which one you talking about, bro? Only one we had to mix was that, um, let me see. This is the only thing she ever came, Lux Duo, this is the only thing she ever came out with that we had to mix. What's good, George? This Lux Duo. It was a hair and skin mask, but it was hard for a lot of people to figure out how to mix it but smoke clay was the only other clay she had in this davion was good but i'm gonna just answer your question smoke hands down on all levels period period city girl period facts <laughs> all right I appreciate that, KK. Facts. I appreciate your support, too. Do you comb and hard brush in the, in the morning and night session? Some other YouTubes say. Okay, G Perks. Let's start this hard brush. Now, don't let no motherfucking YouTuber tell you when to use a certain brush. Don't let no YouTuber tell you when the fuck to use a certain brush because they not you. They not brushing when you brushing. They ain't got the same hair as you. Like facts. They schedule ain't the same as yours. Nothing. We all got our own routines. All we do is share our routines. Don't let no nigga tell you when the fuck to use a certain brush. You feel me? You use whatever brush your heart content. If you got a routine, that's what you stick to. My routine, personally, is I would prefer to get a hard, hard, medium, soft brush session in in the morning, so that I can use softies for the rest of the day. That's my, that's my preferred routine. But sometimes you skip your session and you don't get that that session in like you want to, <clears throat> which will you know, throw you off a little bit. So, me, I would prefer to use hard, medium, soft in the morning. That's because that's a good-ass session. You laying down everything. 
But generally speaking, you unrag and see what the fuck your hair needs. What does my hair need? When you unrag, that's what you should be asking. Because sometimes your hair can be so laid, it don't make no sense to disturb it with no hard brush or no comb. Most of the time, if you if you on top of your wave game, your hair is already laid. And if it's already laid, y'all know what I'm going to say. Hit it with a softie. Or hit it with a few softies. Ain't nothing wrong with that. I done had three soft brush sessions. Like, not three soft brush sessions, but I done brought three softies to a session and had all softie sessions before. Flats. Yeah, I'm going to tell you, they got wider because... Let me see. This will widen your waves. I don't care what your favorite YouTuber say. If your favorite YouTuber not me, I don't care what they say. All right. This boy will stretch out your waves. No, it's not going to make your shit look like no straight hair waver if you coarse. But this will open up your wave pattern if you wash with this and it loosens up your forks. <clears throat> so after you done oil your scalp you go in with the comb like we did to um, distribute the oil and then you work you work your pattern back down with the hard brush this is going to give you definition as well but everything is a routine. Everything is consistent. You can't um, expect to do something like this once a week and expect progress. You really got to be working towards this shit. It's something you got to do daily or every so many days when you're working towards it. Um, okay, so speaking of the fluff bars, I brought this one on deck because I'm going to do an Instagram facial video, um, my new uh, routine. I usually use the citrus bars when it's the summertime. I just, I'm just weird like that. I like these in the summer, but I'm going to use this boy to do an Instagram facial demo. This is a red citrus bar by my fluffy puffs hair and skin. The lavish bars are not back out yet. Um, they are in the works of coming back probably in a few months. Wave Slime really likes though to show. Um, yeah, Mark is for clear skin. Blemishes. Fight against blemishes. And it fights against greasy skin. So if you got like oily skin, this citrus bar is good. And I like it in the summer because it's, it's, it's like a refreshing bar. That citrus, the citrus oils in it, uh, it's real refreshing. Um, if you want your hair to shine, like in the summer, sometimes I don't use products some days. And I'll use that bar. Um, and it really puts your hair on, on bling. Chess, how to get my connections on point. You got to know how to brush your head, not your hair. But your head, all right? I know I got a small head. So, in order to be safe, you should be brushing from your crown. Try to trace your head shape with your crown. If you chase your head shape with your crown, your connect's going to bang. And if you're not bringing your strokes up high enough, high enough off the crown, your connection's going to bang, but you ain't going to have no crown. You got to know how to brush your head shape. And then you got to know how to brush your angles for whatever pattern you got. That's how you get connections on point. Well, you, you need deep, Cullen. You need deep right now. You need deep. So by you wolfing for six weeks and not knowing how to fix those two problems, you wolfing for no reason. Don't wolf for no reason unless you know your problem and know how to fix it. 
I would suggest you get a cut as soon as possible. If you self cut, cut it now. Cut a 1.5 and then watch somebody with your pattern or get the angles or get an angle diagram from somebody. <laughs> if you hit me up on Instagram, I'll do you a, a diagram. Um, I'm using my number one favorite oil right now, bro. I'm using my number one. I got a top three oil list that I will make a video about. No, Willie, wash and lays are overrated and unnecessary. Wash and lays are under overrated and unnecessary. You don't want to leave soap in your hair. I've done I've done maybe three wash and lays in the over the in the past three years probably. It was a soap bar that came out that claimed that you can wash and lay with it, but it, it was burning folks, bro. Facts. It was burning niggas scalps. Wash and lays is unnecessary. I don't support them. I'm totally against a wash and lay. So when your hair is thick like this, and once you start oiling your scalp instead of your hair, this shit will continue to get thick and you gotta... You got to be able to brush, 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 brush. I'm going to drink some water. Take a break. Take some questions. What's good, 40 uh, viewers? Drop them area codes. Both, Aldini. Both. <sighs> when I do my washing styles, I do a hot treatment at the same time. Yo, shit be silky. I already know, KK, with that. That's a That's a secret. G perks, so say our I call my hair brush every morning and night. Would that be? Uh, G perks, definitely, definitely that would be helpful. Absolutely. DJ in a three fourteen. I see you, Willie in the Bahamas. He be showing love in the Bahamas, bro. That's love way over there. I hope everybody be safe out here. I hope everybody staying healthy. You feel me? It's hard out here, bro. Some crazy times. North Carolina, Eric, 336-713, Larry Isaac. All right. The Fiji is done. I low-key can use another bottle. Um, uh, Mark, let me tell you, our weather is like this. 60 degrees, sunny. 40 degrees, snow. 45 degrees, rain. 65 degrees sunny and then it'll snow rain cold 30 degree temperature <clears throat> all right so so after you comb your oil and start your hard brush session this is where you start tightening up your angles because you gonna brush and make sure all your knots and kinks might be out. Make sure the definition is coming through. Make sure you land it. You wanna torture your forks while you brushing with the heart. hard you don't want to brush too you don't want to press too hard using a lot of pressure is unnecessary um you just want to work the brush through the hair so 
So when you wolfing, you absolutely need to be using a hard brush at least once a day. If you got over three forks, you need to be combing and hard brushing every day on fork. I mean on wolf, wolf. There's no way around it. You're going to cut that hair and it's going to be... Bless you. Bless you. You're going to cut that hair and there's going to be barely any progress left up under that shit. All because you didn't lock your pattern in while it's thick with a hard brush. Alright, so Milano Pro. There, there's no certain time to comb your hair. But honestly, if it's a comb only session, I will go at least 20 minutes. On a comb only. Alright, so. We on that medium now. We on a medium right now. <clears throat> so with the medium, I choose, when I'm doing um hard brush first, with the medium, I'm just using the medium in replace of a softy. I'm not pressing hard. I'm just gliding through the hair. This brush got a lot of pull on it to be a medium, and you can feel it at your scalp. So I'm just pressing light on the hair, um, letting the brush move. This will be the last brush of the session before I plastic bag and rag up. As you can see, I prefer to go at my sides first. I go left, I go right to left or left to right, and then I brush the rest of the pattern after that. Put the most pressure on my sides because sides will stay thick and barely move if you're not brushing them um, you know, vigorous enough at the edges. Made some good progress on these top forks, y'all. These bitches was looking straight ridiculous uh last week you had an interview with Jeezy the day you had a cut you say you might go to curls that true if I said it is true whatever come out my mouth be truth facts I might you know how we do as waivers it, we get tired, we get bored, you know what I'm saying? But if I said it, it's true. But I said I might. I didn't say I will for sure. I said I might. It won't be the first time. Before I took Wave Serious, I would do curls for a whole year. So I would do, so say for instance, before I got serious with Waves, I would do, New Year's would come, and I would cut my hair. I would do Waves. Then when the next new year would come, I would do curls. That was before I got serious with waves. So then I got serious with waves. I realized it's hard to get your progress back when you're constantly cutting it and starting over. I stopped doing it. But I don't know. I might. I think the curl game needs somebody that's not obnoxious and bougie like most of the curl curl cats on YouTube. But I don't know. Waves is curls, so I might start doing some curls to waves videos because waves ain't nothing but curls anyway.
when wolf and hard g perks that was the key thing when you said wolf and hard yes yes when wolfing hard yes because you got to lay down all that brush work. You got to lay it down properly. If you don't lay it down properly, it's, it's, you're not going to lock in all of that progress. So if you use enough oil, you should not need any more before you rag up. And JP, if you're still in here, remember I talked about have, uh, having to lay your hair with oil and water? I'm about to show y'all right now. I'm getting a little gassed, so I'm going to wrap the session up. But I'm not going to leave y'all without finishing everything. So. <clears throat> Since I stopped washing twice a week, twice twice a week was my perfect balance uh, to tame in my hair. So my idea was one day I would wash in style and the other day I would wash and brush till dry. Or I would just wash my hair in the shower with the grain and rinse and then... Pat it dry with a microfiber and rag up. That was my two-day routine. But since I've been bouncing back, trying to get my hair back together, I have stopped washing as much. So I'm only on one wash day a week. And it's been getting hard to keep my hair laid. So once it's hard to keep it laid, you need to use oil and water. And I'm going to show y'all how. So we just use the oil. All right. We just use the oil. just use the oil so in order to use the water it's basically kind of my night method oil and water is my night method so usually with my night method I just put some oil in my hand and rub it together put it on my hair soft brush it through and then spray it with a little bit of water but with this when you're trying to tame your hair, um, JP, you oil the scalp. Butter pecan, ocean views. We're going to use a little bit more oil. I'm going to show you what the hair looking like before I rag it up. So, definition, shine. It's technically laid if I wanted to rag it up right now. Nice. Forks looking good. Crown tight. All right. So, you're going to mess the hair. I low key can squeeze this and then, and without having to, uh, I could squeeze it in and it just continuously spray, but I don't want to make a mess. So you tap each section of your hair a couple times. Top always can use some more water because it's thick. I'm going to show y'all. See? You don't want to saturate the hair. You just want to mix the water on it. This is going to carry your oil. Thanks, E-Money. This is going to carry your oil into your hair. It's going to help seal it, lay it, and it's a shine booster. So we're just going to single compress today. Um, I usually don't double compress to like the day, the day of my wash or the day after because your hair be a little thick uh, from washing, but... And I don't consider myself heavy wolfing. So I'm only single compressing. So well, what we just did, your scalp is oiled. You brush the remaining oil through your hair and your scalp. 
You brushed, had a good, reasonable, we have 45 minutes, we had a good, reasonable brush session where you can still make progress. All right. See. So the do rag going to help lay that oil and water together. You leave this rag on till it dry. Um, I owe y'all a, um, outdoor unwrag. It's not a sunny day, but I'll still go out there because I owe y'all. G Perk, so when you wash twice a week, you don't do two washing styles? Um, I generally don't do two washing styles. I do two different methods. Um, when I'm wolfing heavy, I do two different methods. You know, usually one day I'll be washing, styling, boom. And then the next day, I'll probably, not the next day, but the next wash is usually like a deep condition in the shower or something. So I'll brush, I'll wash in the shower, put my conditioner in in the shower, wash, you know what I'm saying? Wash. And then I rinse the conditioner out while I'm in the shower. Pat my hair dry. And then just throw on a dry rag. Boom. So. Um, when I'm wolfing a lot, I do a lot more things to my hair. Like when I'm wolfing, if I'm like I'm at six, maybe six weeks right now. I lost count. But when I get start getting to eight, nine, ten, that's when I'm deep conditioning once a week. Um, hot oil in. That's when I start doing that type of stuff. But um, it's okay. Some days, some weeks, I do do two washing styles. It just really, it just depends on my hair. Uh, generally speaking, I, um, I don't go over two days a week for washing. When I used to, I used to wash with um, Wavy Crockett. He would, he would be washing shit like four or five days a week. I did that sometimes with him because it was fun. We made progress together and stuff like that. But all right, would you ever spend money on expensive products? Boosie, no comment. You know, with your money, you do what you want. But I would never spend that type of money on a product if I can get a better ingredient profile from somewhere else for cheaper. That's just my preference. I don't know, I, Larry Isaac, man. <laughs> All right, y'all, I'm up out of here. So, anybody that wanted to know, um, they get the Regal 7 or the 9. The link down below. John Cal, I'm going to answer that right quick. So, you wash and brush by feeling. In the shower, yeah, um... It ain't for everybody, bro, but yes, I just, sometimes when I'm in a shower, I put my finger in my crown and then I'll brush it. You know what I'm saying? It ain't for everybody because everybody not comfortable with their angles. So if it's going to be harder for them, they, they crown might be fucked up when they get out. But um, I know my angles, muscle memory. And, um, you know, push come to shove. If I do mess with my crown a little bit by blind shower brushing or whatever, I just hop out, set, you know, set the shampoo or the conditioner or whatever and rag it up and go back in the shower and rinse. But it's too much work. So I just do it all in the shower at once. And um, if something's fucked up, there ain't nothing to it. But after your hair dry, you comb it all out and just rebrush it back down. That's it. So, I've been on y'all a night method as well. It's similar to this, so it won't be tonight. Because when I use oil um, on the scalp, it's not necessary to just continuously oiling, oiling your hair. Unless you got really bad thin spots and you're trying to grow your hair. Most growth products will tell you twice a day. But we not on that. Our hair is thick. Well, my hair is thick right now. I don't need a lot of, a lot of growth oil, so... If I do another session today, um, it'd be with some butter, 
or not at all. It just depends on um, what my hair feel like. It definitely shouldn't need no product for the rest of the day. Definitely. Especially with me trying to make it till Tuesday to wash. So I'll take that back. I'm um, more likely unregular and softy for the rest of the day. Softy plastic bag, rag up. Softy plastic bag, rag up. All right. Tomorrow, I'll probably uh, go live with y'all and do a calm only session. Because that's going to prepare me for wash day. I'm going to teach y'all how to do a calm only session tomorrow. <clears throat> All right. So, let's get it. Let's get to the money. I appreciate y'all. Stay safe out there. Stay clean. Stay in the fucking house. Stack y'all money. Drink your fucking water. It's your girl, IG3. I'm live from the 313. Deuces.